file new and start from scratch. Delete the cube and ensure everything else in the scene and start the usual way. But wait, Blender has a scripting tab. How about we write a script that eliminates all that repetitive setup stuff instead? If this content interests you, check out my Blender Python course on Udemy. Use the link in the description below and check it out for yourself. Hit that subscribe button under this video and use the bell icon for notifications. Also, hit that thumbs up so more people get this video in their stream. Rather than start new every time, why not create your own custom templates and save yourself time setting up? These scripts can include your best settings for whatever it is you want to achieve. Then easily add them to a button and automate your scene creation. Let's look at creating the script so we can begin in the scripting tab. In the text editor, click new and create a new document. We can give this a descriptive name and call it studio setup.py to specify a Python file. Then from the text menu, we can save this file. Find the location and save it there. Just make sure and remember where. Like all scripts in Blender, we can start with import bpy. This imports the Blender Python module and makes this available to the script. We can start by making sure nothing is selected in the scene by using bpy.ops.object.select underscore all parentheses action equals quotation marks deselect in caps. Here we are calling the select all operator and using the action flag to deselect all. This ensures if any objects are selected, they get deselected first, otherwise they could end up deleted once we call that command if selected. Next, we want to remove the cube from the scene, so we can select the object named cube using bpy.data.objects, square brackets, quotation marks, cube, dot, select underscore set, parentheses, true. Then delete the selected object using bpy.ops.object.delete parentheses. This means when running the script, there must be a cube in the scene. That's fine because the default Blender scene will have a cube. These operators can be found in the console here if we type bpy.ops.object and tab for autocorrect to see a list of available actions. Next we need a floor, so from the add menu in mesh we can add a plane. That gives us the operator below here, so select it and right click and choose copy. Then in the script we can paste this here using control plus V. Switch on word wrap and have this entire line visible. The plane is a little small with a size of 2, so for the size argument we can increase this to 15. Then we can hardcore the location by updating the XYZ to be 0, 0, 0, and not rely on the 3D cursor being center of the world. Press Alt plus P and run the script. We left the default camera in the scene, so we can change some of the camera properties. First, let's add back a cube from the add menu. Now let's change the camera properties. We can do this by first creating a variable and assigning to the object named camera using cam equals bpy.data.objects square brackets quotation mark camera. That way we can access the camera focal length property and adjust this through the variable using cam.data.lens equals 70. Here we are changing the camera focal length value to 70. You can find this command if we select the camera and open the camera properties. Hover on the lens field and the tooltip will display the Python command. This setting needs to be enabled in preferences, so press F4 and open preferences here. Open the interface tab and in tooltips, put a check mark to enable the Python tooltips. Close preferences now. Hovering now will display the tooltip. We are using it a different way, but it's achieving the same outcome. All these settings can be changed, so check on the depth of field for example. In the info editor, we can copy this line. In the text editor, let's add our variable cam. Then paste in that line. We can remove some and have it read cam.data.dof.use underscore dof equals true. 
This is a simple true or false property we enable by using true here. An example of changing the scene properties will be here in the render properties tab and if we open color management. From the look drop down, change this to medium. That way the command is available here and paste this into our script. We can change the look setting back to none to see this change. Next, we can update the scene lamp and we can do something similar to what we did for the camera. Actually, let's copy this line here and paste this below. Then change the name camera to light. Then in front, we can use a variable light underscore source equals and have this equal to the light. Next, we can access the light properties and change the light type from point to sun using light underscore source dot data dot type equals quotation marks sun. Then we can set the strength to be one using light underscore source dot data dot energy equals one. Finally, update the render engine from EV2 cycles and get ready to render. We can use bpy.context.scene.render.engine equals quotation marks cycles. Here we access the scene and render engine and set this to be cycles. Now we are ready to run the script, so up top click and run the script. This replaces the cube with a plane and changes the properties on the lamp, camera and scene. Then it's a matter of adding this to a button on the sidebar so you can quickly set up your scene. Check out my Python course on Udemy and start working more efficiently in Blender.